but I have So, uh, let's get this up. <clears throat> so, anybody remember what actually happened two weeks ago? Um, upon our very difficult battle with a green dragon and many cultists, um, our group was victorious. And upon uh, returning back to Waterdeep, we uh, became aware of the fact that Krebus had been taken. Um, upon some investigations and all, um, Kriv and Cyrus were able to determine that he was actually taken to um, Avernus. And during this whole time, Kriv was trying to keep everything cool, and um, they decided, like, I haven't, I'm not sure if we all decided to go to a furnace. Kriv is going, and um, right now I'm forgetting their names, but the people from the Iron Bear. Um, the Iron Bear Bunch. Yeah, the Iron Bear Bunch is coming with to help get Kriv. We're not sure. Uh, us as players know it was the cultists, but the yeah, characters, no. don't, characters don't know. We don't know why he's there. I just want my husband back. Bitch is gonna die. Yeah, as far as you know, you don't you don't know who to uh, took him, but he, he the based off the evidence, the he was definitely taken. He was taken. Uh, technically, he was taken somewhere in the nine hells. Um, we're assuming based off of, uh, investigations, you're assuming most likely a furnace. Because that's where Tiamat is located. Coming back to me. It's been two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, and I believe, uh, uh, Kriv had a breakdown. pissed off with how things were going you know and not being able not being able to help out his friends protect his friends as much as he thought um, throughout his whole time being uh, dragging forward he hadn't seen much of Bahamut's grace and all and he broke his oath and is no longer a paladin is straight up barbarian. But I, I mean more of that yeah. also, but I mean more of you started punching things. Oh, wait. well, yeah, my husband got taken. And then while you're punching things, uh, uh, Rourke, the uh, uh, local barbarian of the Eyes of Io, um uh like pulled you to the side and punched you and you punched him back and you continued continued sparring which is very much like you sparring with Krebus then eventually uh rage anger turned into tears if i remember correctly um yes cause... this man's husband just got stolen mm. It's acceptable. Um, I'm just setting the scene here. And yeah. we had... <laughs> uh, calmed down finally, and it's just like, that's when Iron, Bunch, uh, Iron Bear Bunch came in, and <coughs> there was a saying that, like, what they said to um, Federica and all is that um, they will go and find Krebus. They ha uh, our group has other things uh, places that need to be protected and they came to Kriv and he was like F that shit I'm getting my husband he was there for me when I first just going through all my hardship 
I'm going to be there for him. The Council of Waterdeep is in three days, I believe. The next council. Okay. Uh, so, so you would know that. A um, couple other things uh, to keep in mind. Um, the uh, local rogue of the Eyes of Io, uh, uh, Sylvia, has gone off to get some contacts to f get see if they can find some information in regards to getting to who uh, getting to and maybe even who were the ones who actually uh, might have kidnapped Grievous because Waterdeep in general really loves the uh, the uh, uh, local idiot slash cheesemonger. <laughs> He's smart and cheese. That's about it. He's very lovable. Uh, he is. He has been uh, wise. He's just the the sweetest thing. But uh, uh, like. Like you might know, the uh, he's he's like the Hulk. You don't want to get him angry because you don't want to see him when he's angry. the The other part is, it's kind of hard to get him angry. <laughs> it's like he he has to kind of want to get angry. <laughs> I mean, he may may be able to rage and 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 su such but there's something about about it which is still it's in a rage because somebody is needs protect protecting and he wants to protect them and if somebody starts starts a fight by god damn it he's gonna finish it and then he's go going to heal you back up uh, say now, now. Do you understand what you did wrong? <laughs> it's gonna be okay. a learning experience. Um, yeah. So that's a. So it's definitely not some. It can't. It, the likelihood that it's anybody in Waterdeep. I mean, we've been talking about like. Xanathar's Guild and then the Zentarum. There is no reason for either of the any of these uh, groups to even want to kidnap Krebus. Um, he's a very powerful cleric, as well as being a barbarian. So he's a Calarian, the the one and only. And for some reason, he has wings. So. Maybe there's somebody who wants to kidnap him because he has wings and want, want to experiment on to find out what the what the hell is going on here. But who knows? Um, Cyrus and and his daughter Lemon visited Candlekeep and um, you are no longer familiar. And you were you and your daughter was was polymorphed into a uh, eight year old looking uh, dragonborn. Uh, went searching through the archives to find out what information uh, you can get. One of those would be a map to of Avernus. Ta da! Flash it on the screen for, for the viewers. Uh, sadly, it doesn't really say too much about like distances or or anything like that. Just relative positions where where everything is, or some of the big things about it. You know that uh, the river sticks. Um, which runs through a, a Vernus. It's it's kind of like this river that goes both through the hells and the um, 
abyss. So it's kind of like this connecting point between the uh, lower, lower planes. Uh, you know that the water from that can make people forget things. The, the, yeah, if you get splashed by the water of the, uh, of the river stick, the sticks, you forget things. <clears throat> it's not very good for your memory. And at, oh. notice I said splashed with the water. I didn't say drink the water. <laughs> Oh, that's just a D and D thing. It was like my mind went straight to Greek mythology. I'm like, no, that's a river Lethe. Like, nope. lose your brain cells, drink the leaf. <laughs> Forget yourself. Forget your troubles. Drink the leaf. Perrier. <laughs> what is it doing, Lethe? <laughs> <laughs> Me and the girls are going out tonight, and we are so excited to get all leafy. <laughs> all right, so ah! <laughs> be careful. I get a bit crazy when I drink the leafy. <laughs> <laughs> I forget who I am. Oh my god, Erica! I can't take you anywhere, Erica! No! Oh my god, you're such a crackhead! Ah! <laughs> Oh, um, correction. So you would know that um, unless you're immune of the the river's effects, a uh, creature that drinks of the the uh, sticks or enters the wa enters the water is targeted by a feeble mind spell. Um, Good thing we have a walk on water. You got see. that. The rest of us don't. Trying to get him winged. Let's see what other features we do. What do you know about? Um, you know that some spells, despite how normally they work, uh, can be altered, uh, or, or at least the effects are altered. Uh, such as uh, the big bee's hand. The conjured hand is a fiendish claw. Uh, if you cast find familiar, you can only get an imp. Uh, if you cast find steed, this steed is a nightmare. Me too, honestly. Find the path an imp appears and begrudgingly guides the caster to the desired location while complaining the whole time, dis disappearing when the destination is reached or the spell ends. Sounds normal. Uh, fog cl cloud moaning faces appear and fade in, in the yellow fog that uh, smells like sulfur. Uh, hellish rebuke, the cackling of imps, uh, accompanies the fire, the fire unleashed by the spell. Uh, mage hand, like Bigby's hand, the summon hand is shaped like a claw. Uh, Rary's telepathic bond, characters linked together by the spell can hear vague infernal whispering in the background, but can't make out what's being said. Uh, telepathic communications. Um, arch devils can can eavesdrop on communication spells such as message message and sending sent from or within the uh, uh, nine hells. Uh, as and that includes sending stones, element telepathy, so items. Any form of communication they can eavesdrop. Yeah, it, basically uh, anything magical. telepathic. Magical means of communication. There we go. Because I was just about to just. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> it's free real estate. 
just looking at my weapon. reach you, but your car's extended warranty. <laughs> <laughs> Save fifteen percent or more on your car insurance, Geico. I call this advertisement ASMR. He's <laughs> <laughs> he's like, why did I join this group? I'm kind of regretting this right now. I'm enjoying my formerly family-sized bag of gummies. That seems like an appropriate sized bag of gummies. That's uh, all you... that's left. Help you... me! <laughs> it seems like an appropriate size of gummies. Uh, you also, uh, you know that there is uh, a lot of demon nicker that can be found um, through uh, Avertus because of the whole blood war thing. Um, and it has some mag some strange word. medical effects. Hmm? That was a bad word you said. Demon nicker? Oop! 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 Okay, I heard it too, so it wasn't just me. <laughs> <laughs> Demon. Wind? It's been two weeks. It's been two Help weeks, okay? Help you enunciate, okay? It's been two weeks, so... Demon. Ichor. <laughs> Separate words. <laughs> It's a demon nicker. Do you think you want to take this? <laughs> Eat him alive, honey. Do it. I hear this sea. It's all. It's all fine. <laughs> I was like, it's been two weeks since I've been able to let loose like this. So same. I. I. I've needed this. <laughs> so it's gonna. I broke it up with last night. I need an excuse. <laughs> Like you need an excuse. <laughs> I'm like seeing all my weapons and just uh, picturing how they all look. Like he's holding them all, like how they are on his body all at once. Just. Uh, you there's enjoy my breakfast of champion. Yeah, there's. <laughs> you also know that. <laughs> Going unconscious. As in rolling death saves, uh, mechanically speaking. Um, just don't do it. There's not much information as to why, but a lot of say, like people who, uh, there have been reports that that people who have been knocked unconscious, uh, but survived in one way, shape, or form, um, there have been times where the people miraculously, like, they've been knocked unconscious. No one's healed them or anything. Um, they really didn't look good. It was like they're they were on death's door, and then, then suddenly they pop up. Um, uh, but for some reason, they also immediately regretted popping up. And they say, and they say, don't do that. And they usually end up leaving Invertus as soon as they can. It's not good. Yeah. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Um, the conditions in uh, Invertus is also very... has a combination of oppressive heat and supernatural male malevolence. Um, that unless you are able, might not be ideal conditions. Also, it's it's just the fact that it's such an evil realm that uh, mega evil. Yeah, those who don't want to be evil probably really shouldn't be there. <laughs> just don't. But of of the reports. Uh, of, of the information that you were able to acquire um, in the map is dated uh, 
1992. Year of our Lord. Which is about five years ago. And knowing the information, you don't know how accurate that the map that you found still is. Interesting. Or as they say in Spanish, interesante. Alright. See here. Need to pull up. Um, Avernus is also the <coughs> front lines of the uh, Turtle Blood War between the demons and the uh, devils. Is current currently um, the arch devil in charge of Avernus is Zeriel, which is a fallen angel. That's all you really can tell about her or find about her. So that's the current situation. Are are we in Avernus or are we waiting for uh, Cyrus? Uh, We're still in Waterdeep. Yeah, you're yeah, still in Waterdeep. Water Cyrus is just finishing up in um, <clears throat> Candlekeep. Because Keep. we still haven't found a way um, a way to Avernus. Um. Because you had to, there's only specific ways that you can get there, um, and that's one of the things the rogue was doing was one trying to find out who exactly took Krebus and how to get there, or at least find see if she can find the information somehow, or somebody who might know the answer. Pardon me, I'm gonna lick this plate because I love Don Don noodles. <laughs> Your excuse. Animal. Um, well, uh, Catherick is pretty good at tracking. Uh, oh, but... Okay, well, Catherick doesn't know anything about the whole teleporting thing, but... He would still, uh, give his... Aid. Because I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. So, right now the uh, party would be uh, Kriv, Cyrus, Catherick, and Frederica. And Gisli, I'm assuming, would go to. Yeah. We have the full party. Frederica says that uh, to make sure that boy stays behind. Uh, can I make a insight check on why boy has to stay behind? Sure. He wouldn't ask, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can guess that um, Frederick is would be concerned about is is kind of concerned about um, her good boy going to an evil realm. It's it's kind of a motherly safety sort of thing, especially since they are part black dragon. They're in all 
not sure how. Even though we raised them right, how being in yeah, a but room. but from because Catherick's not asking you this, so the I, what his inside is. Yeah, I'm saying this as Dustin. Yeah, <laughs> meta wise. Yeah, she doesn't want her <laughs> black dragon child to to become become evil after we raised them right. <laughs> yeah. We were so hard at making them good, especially Kriv. He's put a lot of time into raising those dragons. <laughs> For going comfort with stay and just stay with the dragons when they're younger. Uh, back in my hometown, um, we as children would go out and hunt as soon as we could. Well, you've also known that uh, boy's been there was there in your last big fight with the dragon. So he seems really pretty pretty capable, um, considering he has the ability to uh, shape shift into a Valtankan child. Um, he's seems to have more a <laughs> combat experience than his uh, brother and sister. Catherick wouldn't know any the difference between a black dragon and a chromatic dragon. He doesn't know that there's. A well, there is no dragon. difference. <laughs> yeah, black, yeah, black dragon is a commander, for him. but I think you mean like you you don't know the the whole like like spectrum between uh, good dragons, bad dragons. Yeah, all dragons stay away. Yeah, but it's it's kind of like. Based off of what you probably would would kind of at least have a general idea about uh, you're going to hell, a lot of people will probably have mentioned things about hell being the evil place. Yeah. Uh, the uh, place of great evil of demons and devils. Although, hells um, is the devil-centric one. The abyss are, is, is the demon-centric one. But, I mean, in general... Evil, 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 evil. So, this is different than being here on the material plane, where things are, well, they're a little up in the air. <laughs> Nothing's influence you, you besides the uh, people you meet in the, um, and uh, how you're brought up. Meanwhile, the lower planes is evil. Just the planes are evil. Not just the inhabitants are evil. The planes themselves are evil. Uh, I really like to it's like my mother's house. I'm sorry, you cut out there. What did you say? You're too far away from the computer. He's so far away from the computer that he didn't hear us. <coughs> what? What? What did I miss? Well, you said something, and you're too far away that you're far enough away that it started disconnecting, so we couldn't. Oh, hear um. So wind was like, yeah, uh, it's like the 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 lower planes are just evil, and then I made a joke. I was like, like my mother's house, but I'm tush. Like we weren't sure of the wording, so. <laughs> some uh, of the some miss part of that. Where is the um, random floor? The elephant guy. Zen? Zindralof? Yeah. Just call him Zen. <laughs> <laughs> we all do. We like. We it's all a, call him he's Zen. A Zen. Uh, he, he's basically been watching it. He's been actually probably more watching Kriv. It, with an expression of let Kriv just let it out and he he's there for Kriv when he needs him okay. also kind of retconning this just because mm -hmm. it's whole new and everything I still don't know it every time he was punching um, like when he was in the rage and he was punching things the, the dummies were set on fire because he didn't know how to control the whole um, 
his whole actions. Because when it, I, because he has that the action. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, we, you said something like that. Uh, last game. Did I? Yes. Okay. I don't remember. It's been two weeks. So, because <laughs> I just said as action, you can touch a flammable object and set it on fire. I'm like, I'm just seeing Kriv as he's like punching the dummy. Like it just start. Like, I know there was fire around me and stuff because of my me being in rage, but things were burning, too, as I touched it. Skin is as uh, flammable as other things as well. Well, I, 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 I was punching dummies, so... No, but I'm just saying, punch people, too, and they go poosh. Yeah. And and you were also punching Rourke. Uh, you did notice a lot of the times you saw saw Rourke uh, uh, get kind of beaten and bloodied and burned uh, a lot from from fighting. And uh, you notice that occasionally his wounds and scars would heal. 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 Like they they would heal up. Oh, they would go away. Right. They're all like level twenty, so. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, also Zindralov was was uh, behind you, Cassidy, and a few heals. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was like, 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 let me just make sure Rourke can take the <laughs> the beating. <laughs> like all the uh, eyes of Io characters are all like level twenty, so. <laughs> Same with Krebus. Uh, so it's pretty much it. You guys are. Did you want to do anything, or uh, while you're waiting, or just is Cyrus going to return disseminate information? Um, yes, I will. <laughs> will um, not will, but um. I don't know, was there like a witch doctor or something in my tribe or whatever? Like a, probably more like shaman or a druid? I had this conversation last, last time. Yeah, we said no. So. Yeah, it, it'd be more like along the lines of like a druid. Or a couple of druids. Catholic would have no idea how to get to hell or any way of getting such information. Mm -hmm. So he'll just be sitting somewhere waiting. I think Crave probably eventually. Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming you all ended up taking a long rest at some point in time. Yeah. Um, Crave would use his connections with Gray Hands. Um, see if there's anything he can find out. Once he's finally calmed down, just about the next day. He's still pissed, but he can like focus now. Um, uh, the black staff um, uh, is able to inform you that she hasn't received any information about any um, portals to hell at this time. Um, she has has sent Force Gray on a couple of missions to uh, close some of the said portals because um, usually they are in very dangerous situations actually it's more of like she was sending them to for another type of situation they found a portal to hell and they closed it yeah. uh sylvia after about uh a day um uh comes back and uh gathers you all, t all together and she she says well I have found a contact 
Um, actually, it's more like they found me. And uh, they would like to speak with you. I think they may have the information we want. Although I'm not sure how you're going to take, take who it's from. Who is it? Well, they, <clears throat> Darian Castellanter, he, well, c come here. It's, it, 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 they, we're, we're meeting them uh, just outside the city. Go ahead and follow. I'm assuming everybody's coming. I will. Yes. All right. He says, uh, uh, Darian, uh, I would like you to meet the Power of Faith. Uh, we've got Kriv, Cyrus, Federica, Kethrick, and Zinderloff, as well as Gizli here. Here. Uh, you said you would like to speak to them. You said you might have information about uh, Kribis. He goes. Uh, he in hand. His he is hand. wearing a uh, black cloak with a uh, 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 clasp, which has a uh, some sort of symbol on it. Do you recognize the symbol? Yep. It is the symbol of Asmodeus. Actually, Asmodeus. That's how it's pronounced in D and D. I think. Yeah. Asmodeus is. By the way. <laughs> would Would I know who that is? Um, Catherick, you probably wouldn't. Uh, would Unless somebody uh, recognize it after his research? Yes. Uh, he will. Uh, are we there yet? Uh, well, yeah, it, yeah. You're, I mean, you're right outside. I, I, I don't have a map or anything for it, but you're right outside of um, a water deep, like a probably uh, a mile or two. It's, it's like you're closer to water deep than you are to the eyes of, of Io Enclave, which is about okay. like ten-ish miles away. I will beam that information into people's heads. My telepathy. My master would like to speak speak to you. He has some vital information. Uh, if you will follow me to uh, meet with him. Who might your master be? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, his name is Lord Lord Volmar. Not a certain. Oh, you mean this? Yes. I've... Lord Mo Vomor is actually under Asmodeus. See? that That's critical information. You can't just leave that out, okay? <laughs> I mean, you are looking for something that may be in hell. True. <clears throat> this whole time... Uh... He said, uh, Kriv has his maul out. He's starting to really like the heft of it. And everything is just like... Uh, he takes you to a, uh, a little encampment about a couple miles, miles from, uh, Waterdeep. Uh, it looks very tent. You've got a, a lot of, uh, You've got a few other people uh, in the in the the same sort of cloaks, not with a necessarily like a hood up, but you know the same sort of attire, kind of uniform ish sort of thing. Uh, it is a very organized camp, it's very orderly. Um, uh, things are seem to be set up in a, in a certain well pentagram sort of um, a formation, and there's a, a large one in the center. Uh, he goes this way, please. 
and he opens the tent that opens the tent flap to uh, uh, bid you enter. Everyone be on guard. Don't like how this isn't happening. Of course. Let's be careful. You all enter and uh, you see a simple a simple desk with a uh, kind of an ornate chair behind it. Uh, sitting, uh, you also see about like uh, five other um, for lack of a better term, cultists of Asmodeus. Uh, and uh, there and sitting uh, behind the desk um, just kind of legs crossed sitting back you see a bone devil and you hear in your minds welcome my friends I believe that I have some information that you may be looking for that I can help you your endeavor. Uh, this is all in your head, by the way. He, he doesn't speak. His mouth doesn't even move. Yeah. Uh, Why would we trust you? Agreed. Interesting point. Strangely, I know this may sound found really strange, but I am a devil. Yeah. I mean, if I if I have something that you need, and I believe you have something that I need, we can strike a deal. And if we we strike that deal, everything is perfect. What do you want? Strangely enough, it's something that's very simple because the information, to us at least, uh, was. Not that hard to obtain. But of course, considering our Lord Osmodius, of course it wasn't. What I need is a simple crown which I believe that you have in your possession. <gasps> but I was going to bend you to my will! I don't say that. That No. That is evil thing to say. Cyrus would not say such things. I mean, you could have certainly tried, but I could tell you <laughs> I can tell you right now that Top of the Via will not be bent. I know. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> In exchange, what will you give us? I will provide you the information as well means to get to where you need to go. Needless to say, say not all of, all of the arch devils and devils in general in the hells actually wish for Tiamat to return. Uh, Sorry, y'all actually kind of would, would like her to, to leave, but I don't know. Her brood seems to be very helpful in the blood war. Asmodeus does not agree. Are we just hearing his voice and we're talking out loud to him? Or is this all in our head? Well, how are you talking to him? <laughs> how is everybody talking to him? Are I'm you speaking out loud? loud? Yeah, I'm speaking out loud. Okay. I'm broadcasting with my telepathy to establish mental dominance. <laughs> he, he does not seem to be dominated. <laughs> I can't dominate demon. Bend over, you bitch. Don't have that spell. <laughs> Cyrus is the top tonight. I believe, I believe that would be dominate monster, and I do not believe hey. you have that spell. <laughs> hey, Frizzly. Gizzly? Hello. Oh, uh, Frederica. Yeah, um, so, little, uh, little explanation. Yeah. But, uh, the motor blow up. Oh, oh no. Yeah. 
So is garbage car is going to be towed tomorrow morning? Oh no! So I'm, go I'm going home. Can you guys uh, make me a uh, last minute stop by the time I get home? Can we what? Can we what? Can you do me a little recap of what you did? Yeah, we'll, no, we'll, yeah, we'll recap you. Not much. I figured so. that one. I'm still bullshitting my way through it anyway, so. We okay, love him so anyway. I... Is he okay? <laughs> yeah, he's, my boyfriend is okay. He was, he got scared. As he should be. That's terrifying. That, that's acceptable. That is very acceptable. So, like, so... he's okay. There's no problem. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking right now. Or would I? When you say blow up, is that just a expression? I, I don't think it means an actual explosion. No, but I think it was... It gave, it gave out. Yeah, yeah. There, there's probably, like, a part of the, of the, of the motor, motor, whatever, the engine. A part of yeah. the engine that decided to go, uh, fuck this shit, I'm out. Kaput. It's like, uh, I don't feel like working anymore. <laughs> That's not like me. No, was, I'm, I'm not there, doing it anymore. There was oil everywhere. Ugh. Well, good thing nothing actually blew up then. Yeah, this is just, this is just my way of talking, because, you know, I'm, I'm dumb. So, uh, I'm just going to listen to what's happening and, yeah, continue going. Okay. Uh, we are talking to a bone devil that is um, associated with Asmodeus because he has information for us that uh, he is willing to make a deal with us to get us information and means for the thing that we are looking for in exchange for Taplevir. Problem is, Taplevir is fucking spooky as shit, and if we <coughs> potentially give this incredibly powerful artifact to someone who knows how to use it, we could potentially end up causing far more issues than we initially intended. It was also created um, by Asmodeus. <laughs> how, how high do I know a bone devil is? Like, CR-wise? I don't know. Can you roll me or kind of me? Does anybody want to roll for Frederica's uh, Arcana to figure out, like... Sure. How powerful a bone devil is? What's your arcana modifier? Uh, I think I'm plus nine. Here, I'll. Uh, yeah, we'll yeah, minus yeah you have access to his sheet too. Uh, no, we don't. Uh, Cyrus does. Oh, Cyrus. Oh, does. I do. Ooh. Oh, I do. I could look at your stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, either way, I rolled a twelve. So. Well, I suck, so I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I would I would I'm, say that um Crib would say that this is not something even though he's dying for this information, this is not something that he can willingly agree to without conferring with others. Yeah. Um because the crown is not a for hit like yeah. we're holding on to it but it's not ours. Yeah, that that's what a uh, sister would say like Catilivir is not ours. We need to be careful with what we do with it. Yeah, we would True. have to talk talk to the um I bio. Would you give us some time to think on this? End of day. Absolutely. Take all the time you need. Oh by the way, time runs a little bit faster down down in the nine hells. Just saying. I just like you. I don't like you. We, um... We have a... We we have we a that, handout right? of, uh... I wonder if I have a handout of this. We, we would leave and on. quickly head back to the Eye of Io and, um... <laughs> talk to Leon and them and tell them what we found and, or what the bone devil by the way that's a bone devil yeah. me too dude oh my god me in the morning when i'm hungry and wake up at four in the morning yeah <laughs> that's why my roommates see when i walk into the kitchen 
just like he is he is also a large size so okay we'll miniaturize it and then that's me in the kitchen eating shredded yeah. cheese from the bag fucking <laughs> you're it's like you're a ba- you're a baby bone devil yeah uh, see see if i if i was doing that i'd i'd more be like taking that shredded cheese uh uh, uh buttering up uh two slices of bread uh uh popping one slice onto it to a pan putting the shredded cheese on on there popping the other slice butter side up uh on top of on top of that and then uh griddling it for uh, a few minutes. I vibe with that. 150%. Grilled cheese sandwich. When you need comfort food, grilled cheese sandwich, especially with tomato soup. So, yes. the long way of what he was saying is he'd make a grilled cheese. Yeah. <laughs> um, a long walk for a short drink of water. Um, as soon as uh, Cyrus says, uh, I don't like you, out of fear, I'm going to start. Uh, Pass without a trace, just. <laughs> you know, he's gonna start uh, grabbing for his bow. Um, he's not gonna like take it out, but he has his hands on it. Yeah, he, he, you're like in position, and and he's just sitting there with his bony fingers, just kind of like tapping it. He's looking very confident and just just chilled back. His um. Uh, attendants are just attending. They're they're not looking like they're going attack, attempting to stop you or surround you or anything. They're just present. Okay, so is it clear as day that this guy can kill us or something? Oh, easily. Or he could okay. flick his pinky finger and we would be evaporated. Then... Cyrus, roll me an arcana. Okay. With that knowledge, uh... You don't have that knowledge. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Yeah, bone devils are not We do good. have that knowledge. <laughs> well, I'm not scared of the bone devil. I'm scared of the person in charge of the bone devil. Oh, yeah. That's another story. Essence yeah. would be afraid of the bone devil. Uh, so, he's gonna not grab... You're, you're, you're just being defensive. Devil. Yeah. But and and the bone devil just just he he's not flinching or 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 taking it as as being intimidating or anything. He just seems to be confident. He's just like, okay. I am providing you a proposition. You, if you need time to think about it, you're very welcome to. Oh, by the way, the more time you spend thinking about it, the, the even the more time that Krebus is still going to be in Nivernus. Oh, and time runs faster in Nivernus. <laughs> Has anyone mentioned Crevis? He just did. Um, be- before he did, uh, did anyone say Crevis's name to him? No. Nope. No. Nope. But okay. Sylvia did bring us to him because he they they well they came to her saying they have information for us. So. Well, uh, either way, Kethrick would have had brought it up. To you, you could say this little walk and talk and, and on the way back to the eyes of Bio. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Zinderlove uh, uh, mentions it's like strange. He didn't ask for anybody's soul. He did ask for an item that holds the pit fiend. Yeah. So he technically did ask for a soul. Is Tablevir the Pit Fiend or the Bone Devil? Pit fiend. Breath of the Queen is the Bone Devil, right? Yes. Uh, I believe the Breath of the Queen has a Bone Devil. The Pit Fiend okay. is is in Tablevir. His name is Gourmet. Or Gourmet. I don't. His know name is Gourmet. Gourmet. Okay. Or Gormize, depending on how you pronounce A I Z E M A I Z. Um, where are we exactly? Uh, back it, to um, sorry, we're heading back, back to the eyes of Io, right? 
Yeah. Uh, no, but where with the the Bone Devils or something? The Bone Devil is about a couple of miles out from Waterdeep. Okay, but so he's, okay. it's kind of. I mean, it's a little off the beaten path to get to get get to, but um, if the uh, Eyes of Io is about ten miles out. Uh, on the on the shore of uh, uh, on the Sword Coast coast, <laughs> um, they're more a little bit in, inland and a little bit closer to to Waterdeep. Uh, enough that it, they can easily make a day trip to Waterdeep, but uh, far enough away that it's not really noticeable from from the people that's uh, in Waterdeep. So as we get to the Enclave of the Eye of the Io, um, we'll gather them around and tell them what the Bone Devil told us, and ask uh, what he's willing to give us, and the price. And that we are came back to them, since it is, even though we wanted to give it straight to him, it is not ours. And... We need their word to be able to give it. Do you know the... Uh, so Leon tells you, says to you, do you know the origins of Asmodeus? No. Do you know the origins of the Raven Queen? Oh, probably not. She's in a worship in this realm. The, the Raven Queen and Asmodeus were once mortal people long ago they ended up taking different paths during the divine war uh, both of them seeking power uh, the uh, raven queen wanting to provide succor for those who um are were passing on hence her domain of of death but also you know in the the kind of neutral once you die you pass on to your appropriate afterlife mm -hmm. asmodeus in his was more martial he was a um, he was a king of his lands and the two had developed enough power and enough followers and provided a certain right they were able to ascend into godhood Knowing that someone had to keep the devils in check, and as well as trying to keep the demons in check, which was much, much harder to do, he opted to take the route as the god of hell. Part of that was crafting Tapovir in order to make sure that he got the subjugation he needed from the devils that were that were encroaching into the the into Iodrum. It is his to, to have and he has used it essentially for the benefit of Iodrum. It's just the effects ended up being part of the evil spectrum of things. We actually kind of owe him. Um, of course, during the... When he and Ray, who were the final two gods that were still on, able to, who were on Io, when they finally uh, finished the pact in order to essentially create the, the veil and sustain it, all gods had to be essentially banished from Iodron in a certain way. Each of the gods ended up having to have an opposing god as a balance. As a balance. Kind of like a it's kind of like a uh like a magnet. I'm gonna put this like out of character. I don't know how to, to actually say it in character. Where when you have like the same pole hitting each other, it repels. Except in this case, it works a little bit differently where it has an opposite. So 
someone from the good side of things and someone from the bad side of things had to somehow get this sort of linked connection, a very powerful spell that they had to do, which then essentially repelled them off into uh, out of the material plane of Iodrum. And so as they, long as they are, are they as and with both of them out, they are essentially prevented from re returning to Iodron directly. And uh, the last two standing were were Asmodeus and Ray. Uh, Ray had after um, after seeing Paylor. Um, go through this process uh, with another god. I forgot which one it was. Uh, was quite was quite distraught. Uh, but Asmodeus comforted her and said, this is something we must do. And they performed the ritual in a much less violent way than was performed with the other gods. He actually sacrificed himself, you could say. Interesting. We don't know what form he he took when he was banished to the to the nine hells, but he was during that time. Uh, the crown, for some reason, during the process, did not go with him and stayed on Iodron. So, in all rights, it. It belongs to him, and it is a thing you're willing to give up. Yes. That is all I need to know. Do keep in mind that we are not like Bahamut, although I understand your current situation in regards to, to Bahamut. We are of, of a neutral bent. It is still an artifact of Io, and I'd rather have your okay to do things with it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we would have pretty much done what you're currently doing, just on Io. Holding on to it. Yeah. Locking it away where no one can get access to it. But if the original owner is off, uh, uh, wants to take it and offering information that you're looking for, is this still it's acceptable. Answer? No, we're, we're now talk. We're back uh, at the Ice Bio, and we're speaking to uh, the uh, cleric of the Ice of Io, a uh, copper dragonborn named Leon. Okay. I need to voice my disagreement of dealing with a devil, but at the same time, I know how, how uh, important it is for you, Grim, to get uh, your husband. So the decision will be yours alone, and the burdens of the decision will be yours alone, too. And I will accept. I have to say I... that he's giving a pretty good deal. Yeah. Means and uh, info and means to get to where we need to for something that rightfully belongs to us. But that will... it, it's not fair of us to keep that. And uh, the eyes of Io are willing to part with it then I see no issue with this. I understand that there could be some catch-all that we're not, a loophole that we're not sure of and all, and yes, I will take responsibility for this, for this is ultimately your life with, for me, and I am appreciative of this. With all due respect, Riv, we both know you're going to get fucked about, out of it more than you've ever been. Well, but I'm done. Now, how dangerous will it be down there? It's hell. Yeah, but Literally, dangerous. But I'm just... <laughs> yeah, but I'm... <laughs> I'm on a... right now, aren't they still in the midst of a war? Yeah, but I'm on a predicament over here. Is it dangerous enough that I need to bring Boy um, for the actual support that he's gonna make? Or... Not dangerous enough, but still dangerous that I don't want to put him in, in harm's way. 
Well, no, let's no. just... Yeah, we're not sure, but also... Metaing this... Uh, if you don't bring boy, that brings that takes away a lot of things that you can do in battle. Since your whole subclass deals with having your dragon knit with you. Yeah, I do. I know. <laughs> so it's like so you're handicapping yourself if you do that. But I know. So I'm gonna ask boy, um, how willing is he to die today? Bring that's not bring nice. your good boy. And maybe not come back with a good boy. Or not bring, bring a good boy and not worry about, about your good boy not being a good boy. But if I don't bring the good boy, I may not return to the good boy. But Up to you. I'll be alive. Hmm. I mean, okay. Plater... Being a planar traveler, you probably know the effects of an evil, 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 evil realm that can have on people. That's okay. Keyword evil. That's okay. I have, um, can I, can I have a time with uh, Kriv for a second? Um, not Kriv, um, uh, Wind? Sure. Um, I'm gonna ask, uh, uh, I'm gonna go see Boy and ask him if he wants to come. He's probably going to be like your decision. Uh, so I'm going to say, if you come at the second that I give them the, the message, you use the item and he's going to use the item to go back to uh, um, Mother Cartel. Basically, just, you know, a safe, a safe, uh, uh, what's the name? He's going to, he's going to basically, that's his, uh, if, if you, you indicate to, to have him basically make an escape. Yeah. Uh, he he just immediately does it. Yeah, basically. So he's going to come, but, you know. All right. All right, Mom. Can't wait to do it. Do I get to kill demons? Oh, Morales, you, you went away while I was doing the thing. a bunch of the other young Avengers for watching Avatar. Wow. Oh, I love that so much. Tremendously. They could be watching Steven Universe, but it was not made. Mom, I'm so excited. Do I get to kill demons? Yes. Yeah. I'll be I'll be boy the demon slayer. Alright. Yes, you will. So what's the plan? Uh, we're um, because you know time is of uh, the essence and stuff. Kriv is pretty much um gonna ask Cyrus for the well, okay. Probably just teleport there since he's been there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, wouldn't we need to have a uh, plane shift? No, we're talking about teleporting to the sure. camp. Oh. It's not that far, but. It's like less than 10 easy. miles. It's like 8 miles or something like that. Time is of the essence. So Take whatever shortcuts as possible. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we would probably gather everyone up that was willing to go. So our group and Iron Bear Bunch. Um, and then head over there just in case. From right there we can head to... Um, Yes, that's the word. I'm kind of happy that we're going to Avernus, honestly. Like yeah, Jordan's so happy about it? Yes, yeah, Jordan is happy about it. <laughs> Alright, so you, you arrive, they, they show you in, Vulma says, ah, I guess... You have decided. What is your decision? I'm so excited to hear. Uh, take out the crown and just set it on the table. And you just be like, we've held up our end. So and and he, 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 ha he has his... Right, go back first. Like, exactly what will you provide us? I will provide you not just information about where to find your husband... 
strange thing. How does he know he's your husband? <laughs> but also, like, like, <laughs> but also some advice. Uh, uh, or, and also a means to to get to Advernus. I can't quite get you to exactly where you need to go, but you'll, you'll be close enough. Um, but I'll also provide some advice to you. As I said, um, Asmodeus does not want Diamant to leave. Um, I have no idea why. Um, I, I mean, it's she's not really a devil anyway, so... Yeah, her brew does help out and everything, but uh, she did escape. I don't think it would be too much of too much of a, a, any big problem uh, uh, for us, especially with blood war and everything. But hey, that's my master's will. Um, but also, oh, my thing is is so uh, some advice. Oh. And he he reaches down and and he actually picks up the crown. Yeah, he just I picks up the crown. He doesn't put it on or anything. He just kind of looks at it and he well, says, "Excuse me, Gourmet is my like... friend. It's been a long time." Yes, I know. Oh yes, yes. And he just puts it down. He doesn't put it on or anything. He just like, it's just like, so happy to see it. Now, in order to solidify our contract for the information and to provide you the method in order to, to get there, I need to I need one of you to become an anchor. What is an anchor? The anchor will basically drop you into a virus, but I just need one of you in order to attach it. What would happen to that person? And he he keep it, it, the the uh, the the crown. By the way, he has not like put away or anything. He has just left it on the table. It is still there and hasn't hasn't really moved. He just like picked it up, looked at it, talked to Gourmets, and set it back down. Um, what would be a, uh, what would happen to this person who becomes the anchor? Would it have any effect on them? You know, I've never tried it on mortal. You think what happens? Be... We'll find Something. out. What happens on <laughs> devils when you use them as anchors? Well, I mean, it's it's pretty much it ends up. It's actually more of kind of like a reverse effect. The they all we need to do is do is then have somebody summon summon them into. Uh, uh, is is we attach attach the anchor and they actually drop up into the material plane. It's very strange. However, from my understanding, when you're not, it, it's basically shunting you away from your current plane. Shunting away. Well, shunting. Usually, uh, uh, with the attachment and actually activating it, it's just something that's on you, and you just activate it and it will shunt you into the uh, the appropriate plane but it only is like a it, it bounces you between the two and only the person who is the anchor has control of this yes uh, it's very similar to that the plane shift spell um, but it's only between where the anchor is originally attached and where you're going I think Cyrus, you should be it since you have the biggest knowledge on the Harkadis. Have we confirmed if he can read our minds yet? Well, he was talking to us. Through our mind. So can I roll an insight for what he's saying? Like, is, uh, he, is well, he making a bunch of bullshit? Uh, well, Cyrus, Cyrus would, would know, at least for, in regards to telepathy, that the you would be a they can like really go in and and dig deep if they wanted to but most of the time most of the time they'll just like it's just it's kind of like cyrus's the telepathic communication 
Yeah. So they do have full fledged tele- telepathy, with you know being able to to dig into thoughts and, and minds and everything. But usually they use it, just use it for communication. Unless they're really trying to get information from you. Right now, he has no reason to, to really, like, dig deep into your minds. I was going to offer Crib to be the anchor since we are going after him. Part of the burden of the quest that you were kind of saying. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear you correctly, sorry. I was saying, um... Crib would volunteer to be the anchor since we are going after his. Uh, um, it's up to you. But I think having the one most experimented with um, arcanas and stuff would be a great option. But I'm not the one dealing, taking the decision at the end of the day. With oh, like him, so, like he could also be lying. Saying that only I could activate it. I feel like. You decide. Kriv mm-hmm. will step forward and say he'll be the anchor. Excellent. Uh, for being a, a partially celestial being, uh, this will be very interesting to do. And he, he just. He just touches your, your chest with just the point of a finger. Like, he, it doesn't press. He just, like, touches. It touches, and then you see this, like, reddish glow appear around it and start engulfing you, and then it fades. Kriv, I need you to roll me a uh, wisdom saving throw. Someone's about to die. Uh, okay. What's your alignment? Tech, tech, um, that would be a 16 because I'm within 10 feet of Gibson. Okay. What's your alignment? Uh, lawful good. Okay, you're you are um, now lawful neutral. Oh, eh. so what does it change? Uh, that not that bad. Oh, actually, I had. Neutral good on here. A neutral good? Yeah. So, he, okay. so he's true neutral. So you're true neutral. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. A- anything that's pure good about you kind of I just want to slightly wanna... went away. I mean, be, true neutral can be kind of kind of weird and wonky. Yeah. So. I don't want to. I don't want to push my um, my weirdness, but I just want to say I have a um, more good alignment than uh, Chris. <laughs> but uh... yeah, I think everybody was good alignment <laughs> until this happened. Yeah. <laughs> Although I so if, uh, swear, Frederica, you actually are more neutral. <laughs> I don't think you are good. No, I'm you not. You tried to burn a village to the ground. It was not a village. It was a hammock. It's not the same thing. You vi- you threatened the village. Jeez. It, it was just to heat them up. You know, I felt that they were cold. And that was before the poisoning incident. All right. And with that, um, oh, um, additional advice. Um, One of the things with the Cult of the Dragon right now, they are affiliating themselves with some Saiyans. 
they these stands are exiles for lack of a better word from and rebels from uh say they are in, they have the intent of trying to overthrow Zastam, the current leader of leader of the red red wizards of say Zaz, if you help in some way to or Zastam or, or in the Red Wizards of Thay, as their group actually is, um, would be definitely willing to help you if you if you promise them them the capture of a Wrath Modor, which I believe you may have killed once. He didn't show up down where we. He didn't show up, so we assume somebody raised him. Interesting. We checked our books, logs, everything. We're like, didn't somebody just kill him? But for some reason, he's still alive. Who? Rathmodor. I believe he did it on some sort of castle. Oh, that mage? Wasn't it the mage that we just literally, like, slain in a second? Yeah, so. probably. It's because I had you overpowered with, with powerful weapons. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I guess it's going to do a Freezer's Return moment again. Yeah, see, I'm sure they would appreciate you capturing him or at least promising that if you do capture you, tell them them over to Zastam and they may be able to join your cause. I mean, it might be a temporary alliance, but, you know, the enemy of my enemy. It's still my enemy. The enemy right. of my enemy is my enemy. Uh, <laughs> where would we find that, Sam? Uh, well, obviously, he would be on Thay. Where is that? on the opposite side of the continent a little island called Thay I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if your council of Waterdeep actually sends you to a treat with them and um, lastly how do I activate them when I'm ready well, one, you make sure that everybody who you want to be taking is touching. And just think, just concentrate on going to a bonus. Okay. And when we're back there to come back, it's the opposite. It's basically the same thing, just the other way around. But again, it won't like it won't allow you to do, to go anywhere else. Like uh you, you can't do anything like like go from here to uh, because this is the material plane well this isn't just the material plane this is Tulsa Toral you can't just like shunt yourself down into to Avernus and then just because because Avernus and and Iodron are also touching that you can just shut yourself back over to Iodron instead of, of the Toral no you we can only go between Toral and, and yeah, Toral and Avernus that's it no is other places. That, is that the only, um, not prerequisite, the only constraints that we have to using this power? Oh, yes. There, there, there is one more constraint. You can only use it once each way. Okay. So you'll be able to go down and then oh. come back up and that's it. How quick is it to come back or to go? It takes about a minute concentration. Oh. All right. So my initial plan didn't work. Let's figure out something else. Yeah, it's, it's not one of those things. It's not exactly like the plane shift spell, but it's similar to it. Because the plane shift spell allows you, as long as everybody's touching, boof. Only takes less than six seconds. Okay. And what's happening if for some reason, we are on the material plane for the return package. 
like you get to the material pay, plane before using the the second activation well then it becomes pretty much useless it still hangs around it's still there so if you for some reason you go back to avernus by another method then you can shut yourself back up but, but that's a bit late okay well everybody has their things Anything you can tell us on um, how to prepare to beat up your uh, your kinds? Well, I would prefer that you don't beat up our kinds, only the people that get in your way of, of trying to find your objective. Because do keep in mind, do keep in mind that we need our armies for the blood war. They're mostly focused on that. I mean, how there's a few other benefits in, in the Venice, but you know. How likely it is that fiends and demons are going to attack us? Devils. Well, let's hope you don't. Well, we also, have also, I haven't told you where he is yet. No, we, you haven't. Have you, do you know of Archon the Cruel? that I'm gonna fail. You have no idea who this guy is. Oh yeah, big one. No. Cyrus would because uh, Archon has a, a tower named after him according to the map. Yes. Archon is the Oathbreaker Paladin uh, um, uh, general of Tiamat who has his own tower. Well, he and his he had sent his underling Kroll, a uh, death cleric of um, Tiamat, uh, to, uh, along with a, uh, a f along with, <laughs> it's not a short name, <laughs> Kroll, Kroll is a torso. <laughs> uh, along with a group of uh, Tiamat's uh, servants from Iodron, in order to, uh, sent them up up to capture Krebus because of your meddling. So, if I understand correctly, we need to kick his ass for meddling in our affair. Well, at least uh, break into his tower, uh, uh, rescue Krebus, get to a safe place that you could be at least safe for about a minute. Did you say break his tower? I like the break idea. In. All kinds of <laughs> No, but I hear what I hear. He said break the tower. I mean, I mean, if you make a toppling, but that would be, um, I'm not sure how how easy that would be. Made of some sturdy stuff there. I'm sure it is. And I'm just going to look at, um, um, what's his name? Our second paladin that I, I forgot the name. Gizli. Gizli. Be like, um, I will just be right back. I need to make a call really quickly. Okay. Yeah. Booty sorry. call. No, probably not. Where the thing? There it is. The anchor is set to actually bring you to be about um about ten miles from Archon's Tower. You'll be able to see it. Um, Archon is a pain in is pain in my bony ass. He has so his whole hand anything, of Victor. Anything that we um we carry with us is gonna be transported at the same time? Yes. Not like it's gonna send you send you naked or anything. No but like anything. Like what you what are you trying to infer? Big rocks or something. As long as it is carried, it can be brought, right? I mean, there's plenty of big rocks there. Why would you want to bring them back? I don't know. Putting a balliste or a catapult or something and just destroy the shit out of this tower. So, so are you trying to be like, like, do the teleportation with the trebuchet or something? Well, I mean, yes. I mean, no, it wouldn't work like that. No, you wouldn't really be carrying it. You'd just be touching it. 
And what if someone is lifting it? I mean, trebuchets are quite... I understand that you have some strong companions here, but I don't think your companions could lift a trebuchet. I am sure Gasly can. You probably, like, lift the side of it. <laughs> Chris probably can lift the other side. I can lift the other one. <laughs> but we wouldn't be touching. <laughs> Then you wouldn't be touching. Then, then when Kriv does it, like one side of it would just go poof, and she, Kriv would be an Avertus, and you guys would still be a Toral. But like, Gizli could go giant underneath and lift it. And yeah, then. I think they're a lot more. I think trebuchets are uh, a lot more heavier than than what even Gizli I'm a fan can carry. Of trebuchets. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking of bringing a trebuchet to uh, destroy that goddamn tower. I mean, there's always doing something like purchasing a, a for, for a war machine. Yeah. Um, you know, there, there's resources you can get in Avernus. Or instead of doing... It, and also keep in mind, if you try to knock down the entire tower... You Krebus would first want to go inside and get Krebus first, otherwise he may die, and, well, he's in hell already. Yeah, I get it. Um, Krebus? Yes? I might need to speak with our favorite gnome. Well, we have a couple days still until the Council of uh, Waterdeep is present. There's going to be a council? Yeah, council will be resuming. This is where you can make your your uh, request for concessions for the uh, metallic dragons. dragons in three yeah. days. Um, so, I don't know if you want me to say it now or wait or whatever. For what you're looking for from court? Yeah. I think I would wait until we're outside of... Okay, so so are you, are you done in treating with the bone devil? Yes. Yes. Yeah. By the way, Kriv, you feel a little heavy. He's anchored. I mean, it's it it doesn't feel impeding anything, but there, it it feels like it, there's something noticeable. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, also, by the way, Kriv, um, you are not raging yet. You are have. Just the hide of the metallics. I... What? You are currently not raging, but your armor is still in hide form. Do I need to change that? Don't yeah. you need to be a certain alignment for your armor to work? No, it's not alignment. Oh. That would have been such a such a, a cog block. No, it's just it's just the battle play of the metallics. Just like while you were raging, your your armor switched into hide, hide form. But when you stopped raging, it didn't change back. Oh, so I just have the hide armor. Yes. <clears throat> it should stop changing. No, you don't understand what that does for me. <sighs> Perpetual Constitution Dexterity Boost. <laughs> I have an uh, initiative of 11 with advantage now. This is stupid. <laughs> also, this is great for a tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 20 strength, 22 dex and constitution. Like, be good. How, how, how much? 22 in Dex and Constitution, 20 in Strength. How can 22 in Dex and Constitution? Hide the hiding metallics. Hide like of Aubrey metallics. Originally, in the battle play of the metallics, um, when he entered a rage, uh, the, the play armor would meld into his skin and provide more like a harness look to it and so it's as if he's not wearing armor 
and it, and it would boost his constitution and dexterity scores. So basically, he would be able to use an armored defense as a barbarian. And then now, to the heavy armor once I'm done raging. Yeah. Okay. I mean, my stats aren't that great, <laughs> and I rolled them high. Yeah. This. This is good. This is real good. So I'm gonna ask our little gnome. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, what what can I do for you? And I'm, I'm just, he's going to see a nice smile on my face and be like, I might need some demolition hammers or something. Apparently like siege arrows? To... Huh? Like siege arrows? Yeah, siege arrows could do. The best thing you can get me in the shortest amount of time you have. Because oh, we're going yeah. to destroy a tower soon. Uh, hold on a second. He goes in the back room. You're some rummaging around. Um, uh, Lesnar! And the, uh, the, the Warforge comes fo- it goes back into the back room. It says, up, up, up. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, that's just a... If by oh. any chance you have like a portable ballist, uh, portable trebuchet would be great, but you know. <laughs> and, and, uh, 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 ah! Year crash, and and he comes out and says, "Here you go," and he hands you two arrows. So these have been enchanted with with what's what I just refer to as siege. Uh, so if they hit a, a structure, they <sighs> this is enhanced siege because normally arrows don't do that much damage. If they hit a structure, they actually explode, and they cause they cause three d three d ten versus uh, damage against the structures. Nice. Um, I like that. I'm sure Keecher is going to be able to use them. Also, also, it does the three d ten ten uh, damage against structures. But it also has siege, which means it doubles. Um, do you, by any chance, has a have a uh, iron stone of um, knowledge, the one that uh, uh, gives you uh, proficiencies in the in tools? Hold on a second. I know we have it on on my plane. I don't know if like it exists here. Come on. I think it's a common. Or uncommon. I'm looking. Language, religion. Nature, history. They're rare. Oh, no, they're rare. Never mind. I mean, which one were you looking for? A Mason proficiency one. There isn't one. Yeah. And isn't there one that gives you uh, proficiencies in... um... Um, a specific uh, tool? No. I posted a picture of my new stats. Oh my god. <laughs> don't, don't have that kind of stats. There, there's, there's historical knowledge, natural knowledge, religious knowledge, and language knowledge. Yeah, I thought th- I, I thought there was uh, there was one for uh, for um, uh, tool, tool proficiencies. Yeah. No. Nope. No, nope, I'm afraid that uh, you're gonna have to learn how to use things on your own. Okay. Well, don't think I have time for that. I mean, if you're going to Avertus, you can take all the time you want. 
What do you mean? Oh, don't you know that time goes faster in down in the hells? How fast? Uh, I think it's a year per day or something like that. A year per day? What? Yeah, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe it's less than that. Do okay. Do you have uh, by any chance any books on how to learn um, tools? Like trading manuals? Yeah. Yeah, I got plenty of those. Which one are you Which one are you looking for? Uh, Mason Carpenters would be good. Yeah. Then we can't wait. Uh, until a the council. Mason. Well, we can wait until the council, not afterward. No, the council's in three days. That's almost three years down there. That's right. So we can't wait. I'm so happy that uh, Kriv is not there when I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah Kriv, did you, did you go to the, is this at court too, or? I, hmm, I'm not going to, like, I will, I was going to, I am going to visit him, but I will not say that I am there now and meta it. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if you wanted to. <laughs> there's not much have, to I do. I would have gone to Orts to see if there's anything that he would have for our trip to Avernus. I would say that a manual uh, of carpentry and uh, the uh, Mason's Guide to Toral. It's supposed to be like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy sort of uh, reference, but it didn't work so well. Um, uh, he he does have uh, available for you. Oh, nice! <laughs> Actually, no, it's it's not the Mason's Guide to to Toral. It's the Mason's Guide to Iodron. But it a lot of it, it, kind of flipping through, you can see. Well, there's lots of things which talk about Iodron. A lot of this is more of just general purpose it it just kind of like talks about the stones over here in the uh in <laughs> in this part <laughs> the yeah, the wow. Ra the the raven's uh wake land is is great for using such and such etc like that like it it gives you a little bit of like a like uh stenography i don't know it'd be <laughs> but <laughs> About different stones, but but, with the uh, Mason, but a lot of it, you would be Mason able to get proficiencies. Yeah, with the, with, with the Mason's proficiencies, I'm going to be able to find a weak a weak spot, a weak point in a stone wall, so making it easier to destroy the shit. You know, just marking it as a big big target for uh, for key trick. Yeah, shoot there. Yeah, he he also is like, well, if you're going to have these books, you're going to need these, and he gives you a set of carpenter's tools and and a set of Mason's tools. I'm gonna to start to uh, go and read the uh, the um, Masons first, uh, and I would say um, because you're using a book versus uh, just kind of like working on it uh, yourself, um, that it would probably take you like how long does it take? It's like it takes like ten weeks, doesn't it? Yeah, it's ten weeks. Yeah, so uh, I would say that I would I would say that it would give you a bonus of like two weeks less. Nice. So it still takes some time, but yeah, I still need not three weeks much. to learn the basics. Yeah. So. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Ward. So I'm gonna go see Key Trick and be like, "Hey." Um. Uh, uh... For that, um, how many days uh, do we have until we um, go down to that? Three. Three. Well, with, technically, you can go at any time. Yeah, and with Kriv finding out that how fast time progresses in Avernus, he would strongly advise that we go before the, the we go to the council. But before that, I want to verify something with Cyrus. Cyrus, mm -hmm. do you have um, do you have fabricate? 
I do. Can you fabricate? Oh uh, no, fabricate is non-magical items, right? Let me take a moment and take a peek. That is correct. Uh, I believe it's really a yeah. I would be like, can you duplicate those arrows? <laughs> nope, no, they can create arrows. Huh? Need raw mm. materials. Yeah, he still needs the materials and everything, but uh, he can, it can only be non magical, and then you'd be like, then you would have to go through the enchanting process. Well, I think Quark can, case... Quark can make, make more. I mean, he, he I, this seems to be like something he never, like, he may have made once to see if he could do it. Um, but wasn't able to, uh, but just hasn't really had the need to make these siege arrows. <laughs> In that case, Quark, how how fast can you make more? Uh, it'll take that. me a couple of weeks in this. A couple of weeks? No, you don't have to pay. This is my job. Yeah. But like, I'm already being paid. <laughs> I don't think I have a couple of weeks. That's the point. Yeah, I mean, I I could be working on this twenty four seven practically. Well, actually, Lifter would be would knock me out after a certain point in time. I told him specifically that if I start overworking myself, that he's supposed to knock me out and force me to go to sleep. And trust me, he has done it before. And he's very effective at it. So, believe this. So, I could only work for about. I could probably work a, an additional like. Uh, of, I, I could probably work like a seven, eight hour day, do like a, a 10, a, a 12 hour day. He probably do that just to, to help out. But it, it just, I can only go so fast. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. Well, let's, let's hope this is enough. So I'm going to go see Gizli and Geetrick and I'm going to have something meta to win. Okay. It's a meta. What thing. happened? What happened when someone with the gloves of Titan Knuckles, the Titan yeah. Knuckles, who um, put Siege, uses an arrow with Siege? Does it double the double? Nope. Okay. It so does it not stack. Happen. No, but I wanted to know, you know, in that case, I don't need Gizli. <laughs> okay. if, if I know that uh, I have a day at least a day, um, Catherick would um, go out and hunt um, for just just anything, just hunting. Just, and, just for fun. Yeah. Like, I mean, bring back stuff and, you know, use the thing that you end up uh, hunting. Yeah. yeah if you find, I like, think Kriv is not wanting to wait that day. Oh, yeah. He um, wants to go ASAP. Yeah, I would go, like, I would call the group, everyone who is willing to go, and tell them what we found out. Um, once I talk to Quartz and see if there he has any items that would be beneficial in a burn. Um, but then I would get to the group and just be like, found out this key piece of information, one day here equals one year here. We already don't know how long he's been gone. Well, it's, well, actually, it would have been a, at least a day. So he's already been down there for about a year. Has already passed there. So what you mean is you want to go now? ASAP. We yes. have to. We have to go now. ASAP. Yes. All right. Uh, key well, trick. Here's some walloping arrows. I think those that's what they name siege arrows. Yeah, so uh Kessrick marked down that you have two siege arrows which do 3d10 damage. They're thick rods. Doubled. They're they look th like normal arrows. Okay. So so they so you don't have to it it feels normal like if you you like try it out with, with uh Fentress, it feels just like a normal arrow it's it's just it's when it does damage it, it damage against and, and it's it's it only does this bonus damage against uh uh objects and structures um so if if you hit like a person with one of these siege arrows, it just does its normal damage. And then you kind of waste the damage. 
Actually, you could probably retrieve it. It's the enchantment doesn't go away from a hit, but the walloping arrows is that what it is? No, just siege arrows. Wallopings is another one. It's a yeah. Th this is this is essentially homebrewed. Yeah. If you want, you can you can search for walloping arrows. Walloping arrows are pretty nice, honestly. Yeah, that's why. I see, I I don't see uh, siege arrows. But... Yeah, because they don't exist. Uh, just, just make a note. Just See, make a note. Keep in mind that I have two of those arrows. Yeah. 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 You have two siege arrows, and the stat. It, it basically, the stat is when you hit a stru structure or object with this arrow, um, it does three d ten extra damage, doubled. Yeah, and it, the 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 damage is siege. Um, in that case, when we get to Avernus, um, I think it would be great to get a a place uh, that we see the tower correctly, so we can teleport back to that exact spot when we have um, Krebis. And I don't know how Kriv think of it, but hurting one of our own is signing some death threats. And Hitting them hard in the guts is going to be a good one. I think destroying their priest or something, towers, is going to do some good, good shit steering. Oh, but that's my opinion. Um, at some point, I need to get more arrows. Oh, Squirt probably has a lot. Yeah, it's just, it's just that Squirt. He, he probably even has Walloping if you wish so. Does he have any type of magical arrows? Like, just something that's like a plus one or something like that? If that's a thing. Yeah, my munitions are... There's, there's unfortunately, like, four kinds of in-the-books ammunitions are plus one, plus two, plus three, and the wallopings. And, and sadly, there's also, like... Sadly, the wallopings is only a DC-10 strength save. But, yeah. yeah, and all that really does is knock him prone. Well, and wallopings are great on flying creatures, but technically they're bad for, like... Um, they don't do much. Yeah, well, beyond their, their normal damage. Yeah, but that, the, what I mean is, like, if you use an arrow, like um, a walloping arrow on your first hit and he fails, you then have disadvantage on your next hit to hit it. Um, why do you say that? Um, you, when you attack a creature prone... You have oh, 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 it's because because they get knocked prone, yeah. yeah so. so, like, yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, if you use it and it works, all your melee draw character are like, oh, yes, this is going to be fun. Yeah. Because there is no... You, you is... knock one down and then move to the other target and knock the other one down. Yeah. That Let your melee uh, go, go ham. <laughs> exactly. But technically, the Wallopings ammunitions are... Um, they don't have uh, size... Like minimums. So as long as something doesn't have a, a minimum of plus ten, they can always technically fail. Because hmm. you know, a crit fail is still a crit fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take whatever you can give me. Yeah, mark it down that you've got. Um... Sixty regular arrows. <laughs> mark down. You have in. Infinite here. <laughs> I'm 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 homebrewing in my mind right now. Um, uh, says you know what? Here, let me give you this, and and he gives you a new quiver. Uh, do you want me to change the color or anything? Make it a little customized. Uh, in any case, uh, uh, this is my uh, infinite uh, my the quiver of infinite arrows. They only have like it's like normal ones. You could if you put. Like special ones, like the siege ones. If you put the siege ones in here, they will be in there, but only in the quantity that you put in there. But otherwise, uh, beyond that, uh, you could just just pull out, and we'll just keep pulling out arrows. Like an efficient quiver. Yeah, essentially. which is the. Uh, there the, we go. Uh, yeah, it's the uh, what's the name? The. Uh, no, isn't that just a larger quiver or something? It's the quiver of Elona, but not um, not trademark. Okay. Um, I will take the quiver. 
but can you spare any better arrows that I can put in here? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, let me see what I got here. Oh, hold on. I, I just want to look at the... I just want uh, equipment. I want to go to mag magic items. I just want to see. Uh, there are unbreakable arrows and arrows of slayings. And... You wouldn't happen to have like a, an arrow of, of tower slaying by any chance. <laughs> I mean, that's what the siege arrows are for. Yeah, but like the same thing, but the same stat of an arrow of slaying, but the siege wins. Is that just not considered? Why is it not? Oh, ammunition. That's how it's listed. Yeah, there are arrows and ammunitions. Weirdly enough. No, it's just it, it, when I'm when I'm looking at my list, it's listed as ammunition. They don't have have anything that says uh, uh, arrow plus one. It's ammunition plus one. Yeah, no, it's ammunition plus one. The only yeah. arrow thing is the unbreakable arrows and the arrows of slaying, which is weird. But, you know. Yeah, I had a, a couple of. A, uh, I have about 10 plus twos for you if you want them. That's great. Yes, it is. 10. Ten. Uh, thank you. And he just walks away. You're welcome. So, uh, Kriv did ask if he had anything, uh, quartz. Had anything that would be helpful. Oh, <laughs> also, uh, a slight addendum. Uh, instead of the uh, uh, toolkits, he didn't give you toolkits. He says, Hey, by the way, you might want this. And he gives you a, a screwdriver. Uh, that's an all purpose tool. Do anything you need. Oh, Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, it, it says require, requires attunement by an artificer, but this one is magical. This one was made by Court, which means it doesn't require nervous. Yeah. So look at me blowing glass with that tool. But I mean, all it uh, all you can use it for is to use the tools. But basically, it's just like like, huh? I need this tool. It transforms into it. That's pretty much it. That's all it does. No, it's a Swiss ar it's a Swiss army knife and just whatever you need it just goes shink. Yeah. It's a regular sized Swiss army knife, but just yeah. it just always has what you need. Yeah. So we're kind of like halfway through here. I am out of beverage. I need a refreshment. We're gonna so, take a break. Alright. So. BRB. Five I will say minutes. my personal favorite attachment for that Swiss Army knife is definitely the anvil attachment. <laughs> eh? I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs>
Sex? No thanks. I'm saving myself for the bog witch. The bog witch? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, um... On another note, are you sure you're okay, honey? No, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I hope we get to fight something th 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 uh, this week. Oh, I guarantee we will. It's just gonna be coming up. I'm longing for some fight. To be honest, I'm bullshitting the entire thing. You're doing yeah. wonderfully, sweetie. Yep. I'm very proud of myself. Have you thought of going into politics? Nope. Because it looks like with that kind That's of bullshitting, you would do great. Different type of bullshitting. Yeah, but like at the same time, we're believing it. Look, you have the suspension of disbelief <laughs> in this. Look, you have to have have towers lining the river sticks. Yeah. They're watchtowers, essentially. Exactly. They need to be spooky. What? How else are you gonna know it's the river sticks? I just wanna, I just wanna make sure that everybody sees this. But look at the size of the devil in the map, like the one in um, the left part. Like to have a devil being shown on a map on the, of this scale. He must be humongous. I think they're the. I I think it's more of like just an icon for the location. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's level. actually supposed to be the. Hey, by the way, there's a there's a freaking ginormous <laughs> devil over here. Yeah, the, the if you see Bob, he's the 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 colossal uh, pit, pit fiend. Say hi. He's super kind. Yeah, and strange, strangely enough, he's a nice guy, gives directions, uh, lets you know the weather, although usually he says the exact same thing because the weather doesn't really change here in yeah. hell. Taste, taste his pastas. His pastas are great, but never taste his muffin. Oh my god. Can I take a hive of hell wasps? No. <laughs> Wind. 
serious question. Mm -hmm. No. Sure. Can I spend a year to tame a hive of hell wasps? Mm. It's possible to tame real life wasps. I would like you to know. Tame sure. wasps. Yes, you can. They're they're strip bitches. Like, how can you tame wasps? They're little little oh. vessels. Oh, are you like asking seriously? Yes. Oh, you expose the young to your uh, scent as a person. So that way, uh, once the older generation eventually dies because of, they only last um, three or four months. Once they die, they actually end up treating you as one of their own, and they don't sting you because they recognize your smell. Well, yeah, okay. They're not tame. They just don't attack you. Exactly. That's considered tame when it comes to wasps, and that's all oh. I want. I want a bunch of hives of hell wasps that are my friends. Are you talking about a uh, swarm keeper? I have always wanted to do a swarm keeper. I love bees. Bees are my spirit animal. Well, and also just so you know, with swarm keeper, technically the swarm is spirit, but yeah. just take whatever form you want. Yeah, because okay, in my campaign, being spirits. Could I have like just an actual hive of bees? It's up to win. You could, you could. Well, I don't think Cyrus is gonna multi-class into a swarm keeper in you. That's what you thought. What's your wisdom? Bitch, you thought? What's your wisdom? And Where's your the dex? manual of wisdom? Somebody get this shit for me. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> um, when? Mm -hmm. Would we just assume Quartz wouldn't have anything that is specifically good for Avernus? Yeah, I think I already took anything that I could. No, you took arrows for siege. You didn't take things for a burn at itself. Yeah, like, we have no. Well, yeah, we have the um, the potion of fire resistance. That's not that's not specifically for going to hell. That's just fire resistance. Well, we'll be right back. Uh, just, uh, I haven't been that often to hell, but like, it's, it, apparently it's hot, and people yeah. tend to burn things. I don't have to worry about that. Okay. I have natural resistance to fire. Well, I have resistance to fire. I'm not going to say natural, because... You do, but we don't all. Uh, but you can get... Re he would probably have rings of fire resistance. Yeah, but... Potions are cheaper. Yeah, but rings are perpetual. Fire. You're right. Aren't but rings... And and they're it's from court, which means you don't have to pay for them. <laughs> You're right, but aren't ring uh, attunement though? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't, don't think so. Rings of resistance or attunement? Sadly, when are your rings of yes, resistance? Yes, I like. Yes, I like this idea. When are your rings attunement? Because if okay. not, I want one of them all. Okay, so yeah, you're right. The rings of resistance uh, are uh, do require to to mint. It says, well, I, I mean, if you can't you can't go like full resistance because see the rings of resistance, they they resist damage as as well as uh, extremely uh, 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 in in temperatures. Um, but I do have these. Uh, I have these rings of weather resistance uh, of heat and cold. Um, uh, they they don't they don't reduce damage, but they make you comfortable in the certain weather. Oh, but well, that's nice. Yeah. Um. Anything for going up against demons and devils? I mean. Yes, not being like feeling the hot around anything is gonna be good. Let 
do the same thing though. I'm gonna keep it like this. BRB. There we go. I got an answer to that. All right. All right. Let's uh, go back. It's been five minutes, right? I think At so. least. Okay. Let me see if what I did allows me to. Ah! Yes! Okay. Are we go? Here we go! Oh, back. I have access to what I was looking for. Anyways. Um, yeah, so we're you're also looking for, like, demon slaying things or something like that? Yeah. Of course. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything like that. No, not something that usually ends up coming up. Um, so we don't have any uh, demon slayers uh, or devil slayers. By the way, did you know that it's 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 either like a demon or a devil? You can't uh, you can't make a slaying arrow for for one that covers both for being like lower planish. Because if it's like infernal, well, that's basically demon devil slayer. If it's abyssal, then it's that's basically a demon slayer. So yeah, it, 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 there's no like all encompassing one. And since you, well, it is technically part of the hell, so most likely you might end up having that. And who knows? Some of the creatures that might be that are might be even in Invertus might not even be demon demons or devils. Very true. So That's hard to be prepared. In any case, an arrow or a weapon or anything like that should pretty much do the same type of damage, except for you know whatever something might be a resistance to to something. Besides, I think if you have ceremony and holy water, you can make something about weapons that makes them deals radiant damage. Am I right? Well, I got radiant damage covered with my flight. Well, you do. And I'm the one that's asking. Oh. Are you... Sister already asked. Oh. Jesus. Lord Jesus. The holy thing. Oh, fiends. That's that's the all-encompassing thing. 
Alright, let's skip the pot of honey and kill some demons. Jordan and Sister Frederica is very eager to kill. You don't even know if they're actually going to be facing demons at all. Oh, I don't mind what I'm going to face. Just going to face their face in the ground. Alright. So, are you all prepared? Yes. Yes. For we have food. Descent into Invertus. Is the Iron Bear Bunch with us? Uh, Dionys, Kel, and Yaros are are with you. We're ready to go when you are. Yeah. Uh, I would definitely say we are. It's just me trying to do their voice. <laughs> <laughs> so you all hold hands well I think you all have to touch me well everybody has to be touching oh, so you could be in like in a line <laughs> be in a circle not even a couple of days that he, his husband is gone and he's already asking for us to touch him I will stab you with my lightning thing. Anyways. So uh, everybody's okay. going. Okay, so who, who, who's all going? Is boys staying behind? No. Okay, so boys going going ahead. Okay. And um, you all touch. And then, Kriv, you close your eyes. Concentrate. You feel this real sinking feeling, like you're being weighed down and pushed down, but it's like your body's not even moving. It just feels like you're being, like, sinking into the ground. And then all of a sudden, everybody in the chain of, of, of things just seemed to, like, go... You actually literally sink into the ground, and everybody kind of comes right behind you. And it feels like you're falling. It, you see, it, just visually speaking, it's like this whoosh of what looks like it must be ground or something. Uh, and it it suddenly goes black. and you, But you feel like you're still falling. And then all of a sudden, you, you seem to like break through something uh, below you and you see this enormous red sky this desert plain it towers you see explosions off on the distance and you are fall you look if you look down the ground is quite far away and you fall you fall you fall and it's you just land on, on some stony ground and it's very uh, a very red landscape in a bunch of rocks. All right. No, I must consult everything in regards to things that would happen to you guys and where you are. <laughs> Uh, you do see pretty much right in front of you, probably um, a couple, about three or four miles away. Uh, it, there's a bit of a distance. You see a dark tower looms on the horizon. It's a black spire rising hundreds of feet. Its ramparts bristling with charred skulls mounted on iron spikes. The tower's apex splits into five narrower spires that jab at the sky like clawed fingers. Circling around the tower's peak is a great white dragon stained with ash and soot. As you get closer to the tower, you notice figures shuffling atop its ramparts. Undead guards in various states of decay. Okay, but me. Mood? <laughs> <laughs> Can I give them high fives and their arms fall off? Hmm? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't even 
attempt that because I don't think we're there yet. Because we had a ways to go. So the same power. If it's a place you've seen, you can just TP there, right? I do not want to hopscotch using the teleport helm. Okay. Um. Seeing that that we're seeing that tower, I'd be like, that must have to be Arken's tower, where they're holding him. Let's go get my husband. You start walking off. I'll follow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Considering I'm your ride home. <laughs> Literally. As of right now, as of right now, I am your ride home. Where's the city of Avernus on this map? The city of Avernus? Yeah. The there, there, it, there is no city of Avernus. Where are the chains? The what? The thundered chains? The huge ass chains that are supposed to uh, like keep Avernus on place. Meh. Do you mean uh, like the thundered chains? Yeah. Uh... If they're next, like there's, you kind of in the center. Uh, there's a Tower of Urm. There's a Stygian Tower. Uh, yeah. Between. Okay. Um, I Ketherick would have his bow drawn at all times. I have one. So you see, you see as as you uh, approach it and get clo closer, kind of this like it. You, you saw the tower from a distance. You see this white dragon circling around. Uh, and it, you see uh, this what looks to be a like undead thralls um, on the ramparts uh, of this tower, but you didn't see the bottom of the tower. Uh, as you approach, you have to climb up an incline uh, to to where it's kind of resting inside uh, a small caldera. You just go over the ridge, or what are you yeah. going to do? Well, kind of ease up to the ridge. Um, try to get a, um, like, scout out the land. Make sure there isn't any, like, big Are we trying to go sneaky? Well, not try no, not sneaky, because it's a big open plains-type area. We really can't hide much. But we aren't just going to blunder into something when there is a, a crest of some sorts. We're going to want to kind of take a look before fully going over to make sure everything, like, there's nothing, like, right here. So you peek over, over the edge, and uh, in front of what looks to be the doorway to the tower. Uh, you see a few dragonborn. Um, but one, two, three, four. Four dragonborn, a goliath, a kobold, a lizard folk, um, a drow, a goblin, Tabaxi, a uh, human, a tiefling, and tiefling. Just, just a whole gaggle. Just a... 
do a races. Yeah, you see a. Say anything about a half orc? No half orcs. Okay, cool. No orcs either. Uh, Tiefling looks to be uh, fiddling with some sort of contraption. Uh, the uh, goblin is uh, uh, currently uh, talking to the tabaxi, uh, and um, they're resting against what looks to be a displacer beast. Ooh, I like those. They're cute. And... Uh, well, some of them are seem to be kind of kind of lounging, like at at a, at a campsite or something. Uh, you do see some of them are kind of keeping an eye around the edge of the caldera, so they're looking. As if expecting something. Yeah, kind of like a. These are kind of, it's kind of like their version of a guard. You would probably be able to con, uh, consider it to be kind of their version of a guard post. Okay. Are we like outside? Yep. Yeah. What does it look like? It's very red. <laughs> Rocky. Okay. Deserty. You hear uh, explosions in the distance. Blood war. Very war torn environment. All right, let's go kick some ass. I'm by me. They took my husband. Uh, I will follow. Crib has changed. Well, I'll tell you has to deal with his husband, so hey. Okay. Well, I hate to say this, but I'm going to uh, call it for the evening while I get this battle set up because I realize that Oh, wait a minute. I need to to downgrade these uh, uh, um, these templates that I've got. <laughs> yes, the fight in Avernus of the Hakan's Tower is pretty fucking hard. This this is not the fight from Hakan's Tower uh, from Descent into Avernus. Good. This specific one. <laughs> these are featuring featuring guest stars, and. The way I have them already set up, because I set them up like years ago before this evening game even started, they're at level 20. <laughs> I'm not going to have you fight 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, level 20. Um, no, characters. please don't. Yeah, we die. Just want to keep icons and stuff. So... What what's the this gonna gonna look like for for like how are you going to initiate the battle or are you going to try? I mean, you could try to see if there might be another way in, etc. So, like when we got to the caldera, like we I see an entrance right into the tower. Yep. Okay, I'm going there. They're just gonna march straight to towards it. I, I'm going straight towards it. Whoever gets in my way is gonna die. Uh, you see the cobalt uh, 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 look directly at you. And says, <laughs> They're here! And um, we will begin that battle next week <laughs> as I, as I um, set up a fight. Who have mind to disagree? Well, hey, that means I can get a couple hours of Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's a great idea. I need all to right. do some roulettes. All right. Okay. Love you all. And, Have a good um, night, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.